Here we have an Alienware Model R4 that was mailed over for, let's read what the customer wrote. Customer mailed over this laptop in six million pieces and he wants something fixed on the motherboard. That's the motherboard right here. And let's read what the customer wrote. Motherboard repair connector needs to be soldered back on. Repair on the connector was attempted but unsuccessful. A replacement connector is included. The pads are still intact. The laptop is already disassembled. This customer included an LVDS display connector and it looks like he damaged the LVDS connector and he attempted to solder it back on or to solder a replacement but unsuccessful. Let's take a look. As long as all the pads are good then everything should go smooth and it appears that we have all the pads on the board along with that capacitor. We have to say good job to the customer. He did not create any damage on the board. He just did not know how to solder that connector on the board and that's not a DIY job. It's not an easy job by all means. It takes a lot of practice, experience and right tools. Very important. Let's apply heat so we can remove that connector. We have to pay attention to this part here so we do not lose that capacitor. We cannot heat up from the bottom because we have a plastic connector on bottom of the board. So we just have to be careful and heat up from the top and just like that. And fume extractor is off. I'm going to get a call from my mother today. She watches the videos only to see if I have the fume extractor on. And God forbid I do not. I get that call. It doesn't matter how old you are. You'll always be your mother's little kid. I'm gonna apply just a tiny bit of flux here. So we can smoothly desolder those pads and we have a rip supporting pad here, not a big deal. Once we have the cable plugged in, that cable does not have to go in and out anymore. We have to be gentle, so we do not rip any pads off. And we have to have enough heat on the soldering iron, otherwise the wick may get stuck to one of the pads. And while moving the pad, trying to clean, you're gonna end up ripping that pad. Okay, and we should be good. Okay, so if we align the connector like this, and uh, perfect. Just like that. Right now, both supporting legs are gone. So we're gonna have to secure that connector using this golden pin, this golden pin, and the rest of the front pins. Okay, I'm gonna press and hold. I just wanna secure that connector in place, so we're gonna apply a few solder blobs on the front. And I have a lot of solder on my soldering iron tip, but that's not a problem. And the connector is secured in place. Now we can add more solder.
right now I'm switching between tips. And this one seems to fit best. Very nice, you see? Different tip can make all the difference. That tip is perfect for the job. Sometimes you just need to try different tips and see which one works best for you. Let's go ahead and clean up. I'm gonna add one more layer of flux and I'll go over the pins one more time. And if nothing else is wrong with this laptop, the laptop should work. We should see a display on the screen. So maybe the title of this video should be Choose Your Tip Wisely. And as far as the access that we have here, we can wake some of that off. It doesn't really matter. Make a straight line like that. And what do you think? We're gonna test and make sure the pins are solid. And then I'll give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test. How did that one slip away? And that capacitor does not look good, so let's make it better than factory. Add some nice, fresh MTEC flux. We can go like that. And we can go like that. Time to test. Solid, solid, solid. I'm not gonna say solid every time. That's it, the job is done. Great. We're gonna reassemble the laptop and I'll be back. We just soldered this connector right here. All right. I just wanna show you this. Big Boss is pissed off. He's pissed off because this laptop was mailed over here, like I said, in six million pieces. We have a bag filled with bottles of screws and I do not know what. And you have this, and you have this, and you have this, and you have this, and you have this. I mean, it's better if you reassemble it and send it rather than sending the laptop like this. We do not know where every screw goes and it's gonna be a lot more difficult to reassemble this laptop. I just wanted to mention this so that if you are mailing a laptop, do not disassemble it and mail it over like this. It makes our life a lot harder. All right, so we reassembled the board and laptop is working. We successfully soldered the LVDS connector. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.